hi guys and welcome back to my channel so it's been a while since I've done a full face video so that's what I'm gonna be doing today and if again these videos are unedited so if you want to just jump to the end you'll see the finished look so oh let me just start by saying I got the best sleep last night my husband's home from training so it was great so let's get started of course I'm gonna be starting with my brows and I'm gonna be using the my precisely brow pencil so since I've got this new phone like literally I can never get it to focus and that is super annoying don't know how to get this iPhone to focus so we're just gonna be winging it anyway it's in the shade of five and just gonna be starting out so by the way if you are looking to get some makeup <clears throat> but don't want to spend an arm and a leg whoa right now a lot of like the drugstores have really good sales on their makeup because they are clearing it out for the new products of 2019 so that's where I got a lot of my products that I'm gonna be trying out so just a tip if you were looking for one. All right. Okay. Mm. All right. Now let's go in with the Cabrow. And also the shade 5. I love Benefit for brow products. They have a lot of other products that I haven't tried. But I do like their brow products. I think they're awesome. And they're usually my go-to. Someone asked me the other day if I was whispering on my videos. And the answer is no, I don't mean to be whispering, but sometimes, you know, when the kids are sleeping, I don't want to talk super loud because, you know, then they're going to wake up and I'm not going to be loving that. So I don't mean to be whispering if I am. Plus, I don't have a mic for my camera. So, <clears throat> and by that, I mean, I don't have a mic for my phone because I use my phone for these videos. So that's probably why. All right. Just a little bit more here. And even if you end up like drawing like lines on your face with your brow products, you can always use a spoolie to get rid of them. So don't stress about that. All right, one brow is looking a little thick. And again, you know, we're using products and outlining our brows with concealer after to make them more symmetrical and, you know, just cleaning them up. So don't stress about like thick brows or a lot of product because you can use your spoolie and brush right through it. I always try and like brush up from the bottom to even them out. And again, you can always go in later and fix up any spots that you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline with my, of course, Amazonian clay concealer stick. So today's video is going to be a lot of, of my favorite products. Also, my birthday's coming up, so I'm going to do a video probably tomorrow of birthday.
birthday makeup. I don't know. I don't know what today's look is going to be, but I got a lot of different products. Some drugstore, some not. And some new and some not. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my SK flat top concealer brush and drag it onto the eye. That is what is going to prime my eyelid instead of using like an eye primer. And again, your eyebrows are like distant cousins. They don't have to look absolutely symmetrical. It just is what it is, you know? All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna just touch the arch up on this one really quick. And kind of just fill in this one a little bit. All right, so moving on, I have some new setting powders that I've been trying out. This one is LA Girl Pro Powder, high definition setting powder. Um, I've tried this out a couple of times on my face and so far I'm not, let's just say in love with it. I don't, it almost looks like if you can kind of see Oh, the light is too bright, but it literally looks like, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Not flower. Goodness gracious. Um, I can't think of it, but it's very like light and fluffy. I'm sure I'll think of it by the time I'm done with this video, but I'm gonna use this to set my eyelids. And I'm just using this brush that I've purchased from Profusion, it came in a kit. The setting powder is very light and fluffy. <clears throat> As you can see, there's like already fallout right here from it. So again, not my favorite so far, but I am trying a new setting powder today for my face and I am literally so excited about it. Can't wait, just gonna brush that powder away. All right, so set the eyelids. Let's get started with the eyes. So I'm gonna be using these two palettes. I need to turn the camera light down, there we go, nope. Okay, so I'm using the Morphe um, Jaclyn Hill. This is in the shade of Bling Boss. So I love this palette. My kids destroyed this one too. <gasps> Woo! Anyway, and I'm also gonna be using the Huda Beauty. Um, ah! This is Mauve Obsession. So they also destroyed this one, but I still use them because whatever. It is what it is. All right, so to start for the transition shade, I'm gonna be using this shade Hush Hush and just using this SK eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna get some on there and I'm gonna put it in my crease like transition area. My husband was like, oh my god, are you really doing a video? And I'm like, yes, it's been way too long. I need to do one. And it gets me away, which everyone needs a break. So I hope you're taking yours. All right. Because you deserve a break. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got our transition shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill the lid in with that. 
but I'm not gonna build it up like I did for the crease. I'm just gonna dust it on there. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty and I'm gonna be using this shade right here. It's the middle shade and it's honestly just a darker version, I think, of the Hush Hush. So I'm gonna build this up on the crease. I'm using the same brush. Honestly, I've been using the LA Girl that powder um, pretty religiously for the eyes to set them and I'm not really loving it. Powdered sugar, that's what I was thinking. It literally looks like powdered sugar. Kind of feels like it too. All right, so just building up that crease with that shade. So that way my eyes can have some definition. Now I'm gonna just dust that brush off, put it back. I'm gonna grab this brush right here. So I always keep like a towel on my lap so I can dust the brushes off so I can pick up a new color. Sometimes I don't dust them off, sometimes I do. Just really depends on what I feel like doing. All right, so I'm gonna put that one down and I'm gonna go back to the Jaclyn Hill and I'm gonna pick up the color Mystic. So this is like a purpley kind of color. And I'm just gonna pop that right into the outer V. Well, one of the things that I'm not like crazy about for this palette, even though I really still do love it, it is like a little patchy that I've noticed, especially today. Um, but I still love it and if I just build it up, it will fix itself. So this brush that I'm using is Ulta's Crease Brush. Okay. Oh, my daughter is freaking out. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this into the crease just a little bit more. So I kind of decided just now that I want like a very dramatic eye look. I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese today, so huh? fun times with children, a little birthday party that we have to attend. So why not go all out, right? Maybe my husband will take me to dinner for my birthday. All right. This is like really not blending that well. Okay. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to dust that brush off and I'm going to go back in with the shade of Hush Hush and just kind of put it back on the lid to where I want it to be. So I'm going to kind of clean up everything else and brighten up the eyelid. I'm going to take it up to the crease. All right, so I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty and I'm going to use this, hmm, I'm going to use this pink shade right here. Now, what I love about Huda's palettes and things like that is literally they are so pigmented. Just kind of brighten up that outer and kind of build up more color. Like, literally, her stuff is so awesome. 
and she's beautiful. Everybody is just so beautiful in the makeup world. All right, so now I'm gonna put that brush down and this is the brush I'm picking up is just an Ulta Beauty eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna spray this with my moisturizing Ulta primer spray. And I'm gonna pick up a shimmery shade, which is why I'm spraying it. Let's see, which one do I wanna use? I'm gonna use this Glitz and Glam from the Morphe palette. And I'm just gonna toss that off and put it right in the, all the way up to the crease. Now, you can do a cut crease and you can spray your brush. I just decided to um, spray the brush and not do a cut crease. I think definitely spraying the brush is essential. Especially if you're not doing a cut crease. It's going to hold the pigment and really help it stick to your eyelid. Okay. Alright. So... Now that I have that, I'm gonna go back in, where'd it go? With my little crease brush, and I'm gonna pick up that Mystic color again. And I'm just gonna drag it into the crease. Kinda just make it more defined. For whatever reason, this eye is like not blending out that well, so mm, what can you do? All right, so now I'm going to pick up my LA Girl Fine Line Eyeliner Pencil or Eyeliner um, Marker, and I'm just going to line the upper lash. All right. Just a thin line is fine. I think unless you're doing like a dramatic like cat eye or eyeliner look, a thinner line is going to be your best bet because really you're just adding definition to your eye um, and kind of bring out your lash line so your lashes look thicker. All right, so now let's go in with some mascara. My favorite mascara, of course, is Too Faced Better Than Sex. And this is not the waterproof one, but I have the waterproof one in a full version. But I'm just gonna be using this one today. Again, I always start as close as I can to the base of the lashes for my first coat and kind of like spin my brush up them. And then I'm gonna go in and kind of just drag it up. So I'm gonna go in with the second coat now. And again, still starting at the base and then closing my eye and just making sure I'm hitting the tip of the lash. That is gonna help them look more defined. Now you can use as many coats as you want, but make sure your mascara is not like clumping into one giant eyelash. You wanna keep like running it through so that way you're not clumping your eyelashes. So I'm just kind of lightly breaking them up. All right, this mascara is just so amazing. I love it. I do wanna try the uh, Man Eater one. I think it's by Tarte, but I have not purchased it yet, so. All right. So there is the mascara on that eye. Moving on to the second eye. 
I have my contacts in today. I wore them yesterday and literally I was like, oh, I missed my contacts. When you get busy, you just I always just put my glasses on for work and no good. I'm excited to have my contacts in now that I have a minute to actually focus and take the extra two minutes to put them in. All right, going in with that second coat. Hope you guys are having a great start to your Saturday. I know that I am. I have so many things to do, but I don't want to do any of them. So I guess I just won't do them. <laughs> just kidding, I have to. But today is not the day. All right. Perfect. So <clears throat> that's it for that upper eye look. This video I feel like it's going to be very long. So sorry, but I'm just taking my time and not rushing through anything because I'm relaxing. So that's what matters. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the fallout. If there is any, I don't know. Ooh, ouch. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my professional little primer, and I'm gonna start and work it into my problem areas, which are right here. Professional is probably one of my favorites along with NYX, and I'm still looking for other, you know, drugstore primers that really help with covering up your pores. I'm still on the hunt, but I usually like to stick to products that I know, especially if I have to go to work or if I have things planned for the day. So that is why I typically like to use my favorite products. One thing about using like a pore primer, especially like a high-end one, you want to take it up into your eyes. So or any primer, honestly, because you want your under eye primed and smooth. And especially a pore primer is going to do that. I'm also going to use this Peach um, Primed and Peachy by Too Faced for the rest of my face. This is one of my favorite primers. Um, it smells amazing. And it's very, like, tacky. So everything sticks, which is super important to me today, especially when I have a lot of things going on. A lot of errands I need to run. I want my makeup to last. And this is definitely an awesome primer. And it smells super good. So I'm gonna work that in. I'm also gonna use my moisturizing primer spray by Ult from Ulta. And then I'm gonna go in and use my new setting powder. So this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. I've heard so many awesome things about this product and I'm really excited to use it. Um, I'm just gonna go in and use my damp Real Technique sponge and kind of just press this onto my face using a powder first, a setting powder for your makeup. Sounds kind of nutty but it will help your makeup last all day long and still look awesome. So just gonna press that in. I'm not using like a super amount, just a little bit to help the makeup last. I'm not gonna take that under my eye um, just because I already am gonna have some products over there 
but I don't want to make it cakey so just gonna kind of make sure all this is pressed in and then I'm just gonna hit the face one more time with the Ulta spray and let that sit for one second and then let's get started so I'm gonna be using this wet n wild photo focus foundation I I've done videos with this before, but I did get a new shade, Golden Beige, because I think that the other one I have, Buff Bisque, is just a little bit too light for me. So we're gonna see how this one looks. Again, it smells like paint, so yum. This is probably maybe a little too dark. No, it's all right. So one thing, that you can always do if your foundation is too dark or not matching your skin you can always use more products you're literally using the foundation for a very even canvas but you're also if you're like me you're using your concealer you're using you know bronzer contour so it's not a huge deal to me anyway because at the end of the day, the chance of you seeing foundation is probably very minimal. So I'm blending this out with my Real Technique sponge and always taking it up the ear and down the neck. This foundation is literally like $4, $5 something at Target, Rite Aid, and it is awesome. I love this foundation. Super blendable, medium to full coverage. You can build it like not much more you can want for foundation and it looks literally so smooth all right I'm gonna go in with just one more quick little layer I always pretty much do two layers of my foundation just because I like a little bit more coverage okay and I also need to drag it down the neck just a little bit more the color I think is honestly perfect for me, so I am happy about that. And again, I'm not worried about putting a lot of product on my nose area because literally I'm going to go in with more products anyway, so I don't want my nose to look cakey later on. So don't worry about things like that. Just do you and feel awesome. Because at the end of the day, no one's going to remember it anyway, except you. So you might as well feel awesome while you're wearing it. While you're expressing yourself with makeup. Enhancing your already beautiful face. So I'm just making sure that everything is super blended, balancing the sponge on my face to make sure everything is pressed in and not just sitting on the surface. All right, so now I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna be using a cream contour. Of course, my Anastasia Beverly Hills I have a hair on my face, there it is. Cream contour kit that I absolutely love. And I'm gonna be using all cream and then topping it with my other contour kit because I want, again, my makeup to last. So I'm gonna go in with this little brush. It's an Amazon brush. I'm picking up the middle bottom color and let's get started. So contouring, again, you want the most product at the base of your hairline. And 
and you can build up the color if you do need more so that's super important don't start out with a crap ton of product and then be like oh crap just build it up so start small and build it up I love cream contour. I think it looks so smooth. And I just think it looks very nice on the skin. Making it super even. All right, go in, contour the nose. Which again is my like biggest problem. Okay, I'm also going to use this lighter shade as well to kind of just brighten up and make it more of like a solid contour. To make it more even and more transitioned, if that makes sense. I'm also just kind of like dragging it down the face. Um, I'm going to go in with this light shade over here and just kind of sweep it on. All right. So let's go ahead and blend that out. I'm going to use my, again, Real Technique sponge. I'm going to start down here to make sure I don't forget the neck. And I'm just kind of bouncing it on the skin. You can use like a foundation brush or like a thick, thicker brush to do this. I really prefer using a sponge. I found for a very slight minute, I was like in love with using a brush for my foundation and then I don't know what happened, but it ended up just not looking that great. So kind of got away from it. And again, if your contour is too thick, that's okay. We can use concealer. We can use other products to blend it out and make it look more smooth. I kind of like blend, dab, and like drag it. For the nose, again, not my favorite thing, but. I kind of blend down when I'm doing my nose, so that way it kind of like creates a shadow and looks a little bit smaller. Forehead. And drag your contour up. When you're contouring, drag it up. Do not drag it down your face. I'm kind of like pressing and like swirling so that way I can get the product moved around smoothly and not just pick it up and like all right so now i'm gonna go in with a concealer of course my huda beauty concealer this is in the shade of coconut flakes 
And this is a really awesome concealer. It's very, very um, full coverage. So, and it's also a little goes a long way. So definitely don't need a ton. Having a bright under eye is super important to me because, you know, I have kids and I need to hide the fact that I have kids because if I don't, it'll look like I got hit by a truck. All right, so again, using the same sponge, I'm going to blend that out. I like to do my concealer pretty much last, especially if I'm using a cream contour. Um, because if I don't, I feel like it doesn't look as finished, so that way I can make sure my contour is where I want it. And make sure it's smooth. Again, you can always go in and touch things up so it's not like if you make a mistake I feel like Bob Ross but there are no mistakes in art It feels so good to do a full face of makeup. I like, I feel so happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that Rimmel powder and I'm just gonna press it on with my damp sponge. And I'm putting it on all of the concealed anywhere I used concealer I'm gonna just put it on this powder is literally amazing I literally love it couldn't made a better purchase it's only like four something dollars and Definitely worth it. It's very smooth and it looks awesome. Kind of just cleaning up that contour. And now I'm just pressing the powder. So it looks, you know, finished. All right. Now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And this is light to medium, or light medium, and this is the powder version. I bought this new brush, SK. Um, again, Target has everything on sale to wait out. This is the fan contouring brush, and I'm gonna pick up the middle bottom shade and that is what I'm going to use to set my contour. So I'm just going to kind of brush it on. And just set everywhere that I've used the contour shade.
if you don't have like a cream and the counterpart that goes with it you can just use you know a bronzer or something like that to set it you don't have to use the counterpart I just like to especially if I want my makeup to last all day so it just you know it goes together so it makes for a smooth smooth finish I'm gonna pick up the banana shade down here and just brush it on to again make that contour more defined and up here as well I hear my husband all right and of course this is a real technique setting brush okay so now that I've done my face everything is set with that let's go in with the blush and of course I'm using my Tarte Party blush also got a brush for this and this is the blush brush by SK and I just tap and then brush that on and kind of swirl it up all right so now I'm going to use my Sephora Illuminizing Palette. And that kit that I bought at Target for the SK brushes, the new or the old ones, um, it came with the new fan highlighting brush. I am not a super fan of this, but I threw out my other one because I thought it was going to be. That was a mistake. All right, so I'm using these two top ones here. And again, I'm not a super fan of this brush. It doesn't really pick up that well unless you use the side. So that's okay. Kind of just doing a circle or a half circle around my eye and hitting the tip of the nose. And of course, the lip. A little on the chin. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and finish the under eye. So I'm going to take my smudge brush, also by, of course, SK. And I'm going to go in with the shade Mystic that I used earlier. And just kind of drag it onto that lower lash line. Mm. Love it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with this Better Than Sex mascara, of course. And just hit the bottom lashes and try and not poke myself in the eye. Just kind of wiggle and pull it down. And then I'm just going to hit the upper lashes just to make sure there was no fallout from the powders that I've been using. All right, I'm gonna use my Milani Make It Last setting spray, which I just opened up and Milani smells so good, like literally, it's awesome. I loved their Make It Dewy, but my boys dumped that out, so I had to open up my new one, and I do love this one. So, one thing you can do if you really want your highlight to sit and stand out is after you set your face, 
you can just go in and put some more highlighter or your highlighter on and it really makes it like really stand out so just a little trick and then again because I want my makeup to last forever and ever <laughs> that is what I'm gonna do also let's go ahead and take my little Amazon brush and put on the highlighter for my brow bone this will kind of clean this up too this eye is definitely looking a little bit more wide than the other one. And take it onto the inner corner. Literally, I've never felt so happy. I feel like a million dollars right now. Oh, I love doing a full face of makeup. All right, so. Where did I go? Where's my little guy? I was going to set my brows. I don't know where that went, so moving on. All right, going to use my Koki Lip Liner. This is in the shade 517 Nude. And... A good tip, if you want your lips to last... You know, I buy a lot of like the long wearing, long lasting.